Yo, what's hood? It is your boy Dizzy3, and today I'm going to be showing you guys <clears throat> resampling. What it is and why you would want to do it. Okay, so what it is, it's basically like taking a sound you make, export it as a WAV file, and then bounce it back in, and then start post-processing. Putting a bunch of effects on it, and then you export that as an audio, and you do it again. You don't have to keep doing it, you can just feel it out depends on if you like it you don't have to do it anymore you'll, you'll see okay so i made this sound in serum okay so what you're gonna do is come up to the pattern right here go down and do render and replace so it'll turn it into an audio turn into an audio file. So now there it is, just as an audio. So then what you'll do is route that to a channel, which if you don't know, you go to it and make sure the little box right here is checked, or green, and then you'll right click on one, and you'll go to channel routing, and do route selected channels to this track. Then, yeah. So now you have this sound here and like, you know, say you want to, you want to beef it up even more, or I don't know, you just want to do stuff to it. Uh, you can come down here, add a flanger to it. I like to turn this all the way down. Okay, so let's say that I like, I like that or whatever, and then you come over here to the master, go find Edison, and then you'll record. You'll click this, and then you'll hit play, and then it'll record that sound. And then you'll take, you'll do this right here, click that out, and then put that in. And now that's the new one, which... I mean, it's a little bit off, but you can come in here and make sure that it's right back on again. Usually whenever I do this, I only make it with like one exact, uh, like a one shot. But for the purposes of the video, I'm doing, doing it like this. Okay. So now... And that's just what the originally sounds like. Which, and so then you take that and you put that into an effects chain. And then you add other stuff to that. This really comes in handy when somebody sends you stems for a remix. That's really, that's the main time when I do this. Is like when somebody sends you stems, you take their synth and you put effects on it. That's really what I do. Okay, so... Now, I'm about to get really more in depth with this because you can make some pretty cool sounds with resampling. And uh, LFO tool is one of my favorite. So, before, put the LFO tool on it. Okay, so let's just say that I like that now. And I. S and so then you'll come over and you'll do the same thing I just did. Record it.
and then bring it back out. There's gotta be a better way to redo that, but. And now you have that exported as an audio. And so basically, you, you can just keep putting it back in and like adding different stuff on it. I could say I wanted to add this to it. Come down here. You can just keep constantly adding different stuff and it exports. You can keep adding different stuff and it'll export as an audio. So the original sound we started with was this and then you'll see how i'll start with the original sound that's what we started with and after resampling it like that now so there's really a lot you can do with resampling there's really no bounds to what all you can do but yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments if you like this stuff what all you guys want to know thanks